My name is Bishop Christopher Coyne, and this series is entitled Words and Actions. It's an opportunity for me to share some insights on prayer and prayer postures. Those of us who have grown up Catholic can remember all the years of entering a church and genuflecting to the presence of the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Now, sometimes you'd come into a church, especially some of these more modern churches, and you'd kind of look around and say, where is the, the Blessed Sacrament? I can't find it. I'd often stop and just see where everybody else is looking. But it was the idea of recognizing the true presence of the Lord in the tabernacle and by genuflecting, drawing one's attention to it as you enter the church and acknowledging the presence as one leaves the church. Uh, the act of genuflection is, from what I can see, is very much caught up in medieval lore and medieval courtly etiquette. It was an act in which one would bend the knee before one's king or one's lord. It was an act of humility, it was an act of acknowledgement, and it was an act of trust. First, humility in the sense that one was willing to, in a sense, partially kneel or kneel in that kind of act of genuflecting before the Lord. By the way, the word genuflect comes from the Latin to bend the knee. But to get down on a bent knee was to also place oneself in a very vulnerable position. So a knight would take off his helmet, enter before his lord or his king, he would genuflect, bend the knee, and then he would put his head down. In doing so, he was completely vulnerable because, first of all, when you're only on one knee, you can get knocked over, but also it's very hard to draw your sword, and also your neck is exposed. So you can see how it is an act of humility, acknowledgement, and trust. So in our genuflections, whether it's to the tabernacle at Mass, when we enter the church or when we leave the church, when it's also to the cross on Good Friday as the altar of true sacrifice and salvation for us, that's another time we genuflect. Whatever it may be, when we genuflect, it's not just an acknowledgement of the cross or the true presence. It's an acknowledgement of how we stand or kneel or genuflect before our Lord and Savior, our God and Father, or the, El or the great cross of salvation, and also an acknowledgement in trust and vulnerability and in humility to the one who is our Lord. My name is Bishop Christopher Coyne. Thank you for joining me.